Ah, hello, you've caught me just checking over this camera, which I think was one of the best to come out of the Olympus stable. What is it? It's the OMD EM1 Mark II version with the fabulous, absolutely fabulous 12 to 100 Pro lens. And you know what? I use this combination or something similar to it to do my commercial work like maps and books, for example. Anyway, if you haven't guessed already, I am Derek Voss, and this is an introduction to my YouTube channel, Tour de Force Productions. Now, I offer something a little different, perhaps thought-provoking, and I demonstrate things with pictures and not just talk about pixels. Now, if you want to go straight to my channel now, the link is uh, top right, I think, up there somewhere. I do feature gear and technique in my programs, but, you know, having mastered your camera, would you like a few recommendations of lovely places to photograph in the UK and not just the Scottish Highlands and the Lake District? There are many other photogenic places which I can introduce you to. So, my channel, yes, is a little different. Yes, I do embrace technology. I am an OM system ambassador. But, you know, I started photography over 60 years ago, what we might call traditional photography. AI, yes, is a wonderful thing, but when the unexpected happens, then real photography, traditional photography, is always there to take over. Anyway, look, enough of me. Um, do subscribe, bottom right, I think that's right, bottom right down there, or become a member. In the meantime, here is an excerpt from one of my latest productions. It may not be quite available yet, but very soon, a tour de force tour to the city of Durham and photography inside that wonderful cathedral. The sun made a brief appearance, so I spot metered a highlight and then corrected dark areas of the image in post-production. It didn't last long, and rain was not far away. Time to head to the cathedral, and for a bit of tuition on taking photographs inside. A cloudy sky can be beneficial for capturing important detail inside a church. It reduces the dynamic range and, as Norman windows are not very large, the amount of light reaching the interior can be limited. I handheld, keeping the ISO at 200 with the help of image stabilizers in both camera and lens. This gave me flexibility for finding suitable viewpoints where access was restricted. Some windows in Durham Cathedral are larger, very colourful and recent. Under brighter skies they can look very dramatic, but if it is intended to record every detail, a cloudy, even dull day reduces contrast. I still tend to spot meter a highlight, as they can easily burn out to a pure white, removing fine detail even on the dullest of days. Furthermore, as most windows are higher than the photographer, standing further back reduces converging verticals. This makes correction in post-production easier, but to avoid unintentional camera shake when hand-holding, make sure that both the camera and lens image stabilizers are turned on.